I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helps you, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Now here's the video. Hello, like many of you, I've decided I wanted to change my RV latch to a keyless style from RV locks. The problem I ran into is I have a 2018 Thor Vegas, and Thor changed the latch design in 2018, and RV locks does not make one for it. So I decided to use a residential deadbolt, and this is how I did it. First thing I have to do is find out how far over I have to bring the inside unit to clear the frame of the screen. After I see it, I mark how far over the screen frame is and take the inside unit and line it up and make marks. Now with the marks on the door, I can take a utility knife and cut the screen, being careful not to go too deep and cut the door to give an access area for the inside unit. Now I'm not going to cut the screen completely out, I'm just going to cut the top one side and leave the other side there that can fold over. I take the unit and put a screw in it to hold it in place to see how well it fits. And everything's fitting good. I can go a little bit lower if I like. I'll have to decide. So I remove the inside unit and the screw that I put in to hold the unit is the dead center of the unit. And that's where the hole is going to have to be drilled is in the dead center. So I measure over and it's two and seven eighths. The problem I run into is when I look at the directions, it says the hole can only be two and three quarters or two and three fourths. So I'm going to have to go a little bit further over than the directions. So what I'm going to have to do is on the edge of the door, I'm going to have to recess the deadbolt a little bit. And that should take care of my depth issue. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can always take the inside unit and move it over a little bit to have the proper depth. You will just have to trim the frame of the screen. So when you do that, you also want to cut the screen so it can fold the opposite way to give you access. Now I'm going to get some measurements to see where I'm going to have to position the hole. I see I have to come up one and three quarter inch from the horizontal frame of the door. But if I had to do it again, I would come up two inches to give me a little bit more room. And now I'm gonna see what size holes I have to make. For the inside of the door, I'm gonna be using this plate that comes with the lock. And I see I have to drill a two inch hole for the inside of the door. For the outside of the door, I'm just gonna be drilling a hole for the outside unit. And I'm gonna drill a one and a quarter inch hole for that's all it's need. Now that I have my holes marked, I'm going to take a two inch hole saw and drill a hole. Being careful because the inside is not real strong and as soon as you go through that inside piece it's just styrofoam on the inside so I wouldn't press too hard. And as I go through it I just want to make sure I do not go all the way through. I just want the drill bit to give me a little hole on the outside to know where the center of the outside is to drill. As you can see, if you pull that off, it's just styrofoam inside there. It's not very strong. So now I'm going to take my step drill bit and put it on. I love strip drill bits. It makes it so easy to drill a hole, keep it centered. So I just take my step drill bit and I drill down to where it's one and quarter. And now that I got it drilled, I got my one and a quarter inch hole and I'm ready to do the door edge. That should be it. Ready now for the door in. edge where the deadbolt slides in, I'm going to be using the no chisel instructions. So I'm going to be also changing the deadbolt to the B illustration. So I will be pulling off the A, take the two tabs and pull it off and slide on B. Now if you decide you want to not um, do a recess. You can always keep A on and just trim the screen door for the inside unit to fit properly. 
The door edge is double aluminum. So what I'm going to do is drill my one inch hole according to direction. But I'm going to drill a little bit deeper with a step drill bit to get that first layer of aluminum a recess for the deadbolt striker to slide in a little bit deeper to fit the depth I need. Now as you can see I test fitted the inner plate and it fits on the door good. And here's the hole. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to shut it and take a pencil to mark the door jam to give me a rough estimate where I'm going to be drilling a hole. Even though I'm not going to be drilling the hole until after I get the deadbolt installed. Now this is real flimsy and stuff and it, if you try to put the lock on it's just going to crush. So I'm going to make the sleeve that you need to make. I measure it's about one and a half inches thick. Now I'm going to take a piece of one and a half inch ABS piping for plumbing and put the end cap, put that cap on it and measure one and a half inches. So you cut a piece and it's a little bit thinner than the door. When I measured it was like one and a half inches and this is going to be the, the insert of, for the door for the sleeve. And I use the adapter plate to put on it and that will go on the inside of the door and this will go against the fiberglass that has the smaller hole there and what will happen when you tighten it down this will get locked in and it will lock itself so it won't be able to move it's using the fiberglass as long as the insulation to hold it in place now once you got that you put that in you got to be able to put the lock in so all I do is line that up you can see the notches That's good. Go to the other side. You don't want to go all the way down on this side. This side, go to about right there. That's good. Now finish this side. Clean it out. Got to get it right there. Now this side you don't want to cut free, you just want to cut it like so. And you clean the rest of that. This is the main sleeve you're going to need in order to put the lock on. So when you put this on, you want to put, have this going against the fiberglass. So line this up. Should snap in. There we go. Now this is will slide into the door that go up against the fiberglass. And this will be able to slide in if you do it properly. <laughs> I forgot. Now, if you cut it, make sure you level this out. Do the same thing on the other side. Try to make them flat. Okay, so you got that put in, snaps on. That will slide into the door, like so, like that. And this will slide right in there. Let's see how it fits.
Uh, might just want to take a little bit more off the top to give it some room. Not give it some room for it to move. And the sleeve goes on like so. And that will slide into the door. This will slide into there. Have plenty of room for it to, to work, operate. That's it. But this is the main thing. You want it a little bit smaller than the door. So if the door is this thick, you want it just a little bit smaller. Now I take the inside mounting plate and the two tabs I bend up so the sleeve will slide into it and hold it in place. So that fits snugly in. Insert. Slide it in. I take the deadbolt and set it to its deepest depth and slide it in, making sure the part that says this side up is up. And as you can see, it goes pretty good recessed in. Now, I take the outside unit and slide the wire through and try to line up the hole with the outside unit and get everything set. Then I take the inside mounting plate with a screw and line it up and just screw the screw in a little bit into that outside unit. Then take the wire and take it through the hole in the inside mounting plate. Once I get that through, I take the other screw, line it up, and screw it in a little bit. I take my drill Tighten them up. and just screw the screw in a little bit, not, but not real tight, just lightly tight. Then on the outside unit, I'll make sure I get that lined up properly with the hole and everything and where I want it, make sure everything's good. Then I can tighten it down. And that's tightened down. I take the inside unit cover, slide it on and shut the screen to make sure everything is lining up properly. Okay, everything is lining up properly, so now I can move on. All you do is plug it in, take this, plug it on. Take the screws, three of them. That's it. Now I'm going to check the mechanism, make sure everything working freely. It is. So now I'm going to install the batteries in the inside unit and make sure all the electrical works with it also. Close it and we want to lock it, just lock it. And then when you get back, you just put your code in. This is the default code. I'll be setting up new codes later. Just follow the directions to set up a new code. And I'll clean up the camera. That's what happens when you work by yourself and you drop it. Now I'm going to measure the striker. The striker is a little bit smaller than three quarter inch, so it's going to need at least a three quarter inch hole in the door frame. Or to fit. Three quarter inches right there. So I want to go one, two, three, four, five. 
I want to go five. three quarters. Let's see if it works. Now I take my key, I shut it, turn the key, it's not locking. Taking the key to make sure nothing's sticking. Oh, everything's working smooth. So I slide it over again and I look in, in and I need to come up about a little bit and forward a little bit. So I take my drill bit and I'm just working going upward. Since I only drilled a three-quarter inch hole, which is the minimum I needed, I'm just going to work it upward because I want the hole to go up. So I don't want to drill just a bigger hole, I just want to go make sure it goes up first. Then after I make sure it's going all the way up, the hole's only going to expand upward, then I take it to the next level up on the drill bit. Now I got that hole drilled, I need to come a little bit more forward. I'm going to take my drill bit and I'm making sure it comes to the forward edge and shaving it comes to a little bit. Now I close it, put the key back in, and it is. That's it. Get a grommet for right here to clean it up. And this is what the hole looks like in the door jam. I gotta reattach the, the weather strip, just put a little bit of adhesive and put it back. The striker a little bit. And it doesn't look that great, but my wife's not happy with the way it looks, but I told her, I'm not done yet. Give me a minute. And this is where I had to drill into the, you know what? Wife doesn't like that either. But I told her, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Do the finishing touches to make it look good. Now for the hole in the door jam, get some great stuff expanding water, weatherproof foam. And as it expands, it starts popping out. So I take a deadbolt and put a little bit of lube on it and stick it in so I can push it back in without pulling it out. And get it nice and smooth inside. Now I'm gonna take a rag and remove the excess foam and of course it leaves a mess but that's not bad the inside looks good that's the main part so I, then i take some a little bit of paint thinner put a little bit on a rag and i just clean up and it comes off pretty easy and doesn't look bad. Foam's nice and hardening up in there. So as soon as it gets harder, I will be putting these grommets in. They're just electrical grommets that I'm going to trim to fit. And I trimmed it and got that to fit. I used a little bit of black silicone and glued it in place with the black silicone. And I did the same thing on this side. I got it in. It, this side it just snapped right on in, so wasn't much to do. And I'll use a little bit of black silicone. To, smooth it out press the button lock it put the default code in right for this moment and there we go so I take some screen repair tape and some adhesive magnetic strips and put them together and attach them to both sides of the screen that I cut and here's the you know what I got to put the handle back on and roll there back let's take it roll it There you go. Lock, unlock. Now let's say 
And you unroll it. You unroll it. So there's a the screen now. And you don't put it back. But when you shut it, it'll automatically pop anyway. So you're safe. It's not going to break anything. Then you can just roll it. That's it. And RV's locked. Come back. Put the code in. And there we go. Now we have a touchpad lock on our 20, 2018 Thor Vegas.